Five Saturdays in a row now, lads. Five Saturdays. Five losses for Dunfermline. Five times that I've had to witness my team be absolutely garbage out on that football pitch. Welcome back to another video on this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel where you watch a Dunfermline fan lose his mind at how garbage his team performs on a Saturday. Yes, it's all well and good when we're playing well, but when it's bad, it's bad. And unfortunately, most of the time recently, we have been bad. Obviously, Sundays is usually the day for an episode of The Last Word, but there really wasn't enough games to talk about this weekend because only eight games were played in the entire three leagues that were playing this weekend. In the Championship League 1 and League 2, only eight games took place. Obviously, massively down to waterlogged pitches and weather problems, meaning that the rest of the games that were due to take place were called off before it even got started. There was even due to be doubts about the Morton game because of obviously they had a game called off in mid-December for a waterlogged pitch. And if I'm being honest, would I have rather it got called off now that we've lost another three points on the road? Yes. But did we deserve to lose? Probably. Again, yes. It's no nice seeing your team lose once again and especially when we're just no looking like actually being a decent enough team throughout a 90 minutes. Obviously we dominated the last two games in about the first kind of half an hour, maybe 45 minutes at a push, but ultimately we've conceded goals in both the first halves as well, so really you could only really say it's about the first half an hour of the last two games where we've really turned up. Last weekend we had loads of chances against Ayr, never put any of them away, and then at the end of the half they scored and then they obviously came out 1-0 winners on that day. Yesterday, slightly different scenario, we were on top for probably about the first half an hour once again, and then of course we scored Ewan Murray with a goal from midfield, because that was where he was deployed in the starting 11 yesterday. It seemed very weird when it was first announced yesterday, but it happened, and he scored from the midfield position, so well done to Ewan Murray for making that work on his return to the team. However, we then did the usual conceding after that. We conceded a goal just before half-time to make it 1-1, and it did feel like a right kicking the balls, because it did feel like we were dominating the game for large spells in that first half, and then to be given that blow to go back to square one, basically, it kind of just felt a wee bit on the downside. Even though I had positive thoughts going into the second half, I thought, well, surely we can just come out again and start the second half like we did the first, but no. We conceded within a few minutes of the second half starting, defence split wide open, people no tracking their men, and Morton get a free header with Jim McAllister putting it in the back of the net for 2-1. And then Morton went 3-1 up, Kyle Jacobs getting his second of the game, his second header. We conceded for three headers yesterday, basically all for crosses in the box, one way or another. Defence just no good enough. And the third goal especially, Ryan Scully. I mean, my reaction really did say it all. There it is. Scully! You're useless, man! Useless! Push! It's that type of stuff that just simply isn't good enough and I'm sick of seeing our goalies just flap at crosses, no catch things, punch it away when it's no needed. It's happened with both Cammy Gill and Ryan Scully this season and it needs to stop. We need to get better goalkeepers, we need a better quality goalkeeper, an experienced goalkeeper at that. Whether it'll happen or not, who knows. I hope we can bring signings in but the big question after yesterday was, does Stevie Crawford stay in a job? There's big rumours going round, and in my opinion, my thought is, Stevie Crawford out, unfortunately. I'm sure the guy's a lovely guy, and a lot of managers are, but when it's no working, it's no working. And for him to have been in charge for a year now, because his first game was a year ago today, Dundee United away, where this happened... What a memorable day for the channel. Speedy recovery to Nicky Clark on his recent injury, by the way. Have to say that. But aye, Stevie Crawford's first game was a year ago today against Dundee United. We lost 1-0 there, and that was the start of 
a load of losses. We've lost more than we've won, of course. He's got about a 35% win ratio or something like that. And it simply isn't good enough. We're floundering in mid-table in the Championship when this year, yes, the teams are tight and no team's really better than the other. But if you're a half-decent team, you'd be in the playoffs at this point. We've missed so many opportunities to do so, especially in the last five games when we've not won a single game. And games like Arbroath away, Aloha away and Aloha at home. We've just failed to capitalise on opportunities where we could easily be in those promotion playoffs right now. We could probably be pushing for second, if not be in second place, if we'd just done the job that we all expected the team to perform to those sort of levels. Like, as I said, the games against our Broth and Aloha, you're expecting to win those games, and we haven't. We haven't performed to the level that is expected to go on and win those games, and ultimately, our Broth and Aloha and other teams that have defeated us like that I've deserved the wins. This recent run we've been on, we've seen it all before. We won five games in a row last season under Stevie Crawford in the second half of the season. And then we went about 13 games without a win. So, we've seen it all before. We just saw relegation worries last season by a couple of points. Even if that, I think it came down to about the second last week of the season where we were pretty much confirmed to not be involved in any of the relegation playoffs or automatic and now here we are again in a very similar situation points wise and it just isn't looking good. I don't know where the next one's coming from really. It could come next week. I hope it does but I just don't see it coming and ultimately I think if we do change the management I think it would make a difference. It obviously has to be the perfect person to come in after that. It has to be an experienced manager. Do the club have the money to do it? Who knows? I just don't know. I don't know any facts about that, but I would guess probably not, ideally. But sometimes decisions have to be made. This board need to now come out and make a statement of support for Stevie Crawford or not, because it really is starting to show apathy within the fans and fans starting to not turn up because they're just not happy with the product that's on show. And you've got mugs like me turning up week in, week out to watch it continuously because it's just sort of like a habit now. I've seen the team at far worse places than this and I've only supported them for about 10 years. I've seen them under John Potter, 7th in League 1. So, I mean, I've seen them in worse places so I'm not going to stop now. But there is sort of getting that apathy now in the fans where they're just not going to start turning up to games now. I really hope there's a change soon. I really hope we can start getting positivity back into the club because it did feel like we were starting to get that way in the summer where we were bringing in youth players and there seemed to be a clear path. But Stevie's got other right ideas, right? He's got other right ideas in terms of bringing in the youth and having players at the club that want to be at the club, like Ryan Dow even, Lewis Martin. All those type of players want to be at this club, right? But is he a manager? Is he a manager of players? Can he manage talent and personalities and stuff? I don't know. I don't know if that's his thing. I think he's more of a coach and helping out a manager in that regard. I think we need an experienced head and that is just my thoughts on it. Whether you agree or disagree, I don't know. But let me know in the comments below what you think about this whole situation because it is a bit of a conundrum at this point. Do we have the money to replace a manager? As I said, ideally not. But is it time to do so? In my opinion, yes. Well done to all the teams that did win yesterday in the championship. It was indeed Morton. I won't say well done to you, but I, You deserved it. Dundee United. East Fife and Airdrionians got a draw. Four for Wraith Rovers draw. Falkirk got the win. Decent win for them to get them back up to the top end of the league properly. Elgin with a win. Queen's Park with a win over Edinburgh City. It's a poor result for Edinburgh City, but kudos to Ray McKinnon um, on that one. And Stennis Movie Beacon was a draw, which tells us nothing in regards to that battle at the bottom of League 2. Let's hope Dunfermline can win next weekend, and I'm not sitting here talking about Dunfermline in a negative light once again. If there's any updates on Stevie Crawford's position or any other signings, then I'll be here to talk about it on this channel. But that's it for this video, guys. Cheers for watching. If you did enjoy it, please give it a like, comment down below your thoughts, and subscribe for more of this type of content. And until the next video, I'll see you then. Cheers, guys.